So here I've got my uh, Windows Server ready. This one is running Windows Server 2019. Uh, to actually install Network Load Balancing, if you open Server Manager and Add Roles and Features, I've opened on the second page here because I've skipped the first page on a previous wizard. But just click Next. We're not installing a role, so click next to features and scroll down to the ends and find network load balancing. There it is. Select add features to put the additional bits on that it requires and click install. Now I'm just going to jump across to the second server and do exactly the same on that. Obviously both servers need the network load balancing feature installing for this to work. So on this one I'm just doing exactly the same as I did on the first one. Now I've sped this up a little for the sake of the video. You might want to pause this if you're doing it live and then come back when both these wizards have completed. That one's successful. Click close. And let's just jump across onto the second one. And that one's also successful. So click close on there. Now to actually configure network load balancing. Uh, from server manager you can go to tools. Network load balancing manager. Now the first thing we need to do is create a cluster. Now the cluster will have the name of the IP address that we assign. I need to add in the host that I'm on first. That is on dot eleven. We know accept all the defaults. And now need to create a cluster IP address. This is the IP address that will be presented globally across the NLB cluster. And that's going to be dot ten. Click OK, click Next. Now you don't have to type anything in the full internet name box. But I'm just going to give it a sensible name. And click Next. And click Finish. And what it'll do is it'll start the service up. It will add that IP address as an additional IP address on the NIC. I now need to add the second host into the cluster, which is AR2. Now it doesn't connect at this point, you've probably got some network connectivity problems or the service isn't running on the other host. Just accept all the defaults. And once again, this will do all the configuration. And when it's finished, it will say converged, like either this one. So what's that actually done? If you have a look at the um, properties of the network card on the server you'll need to put the all flag on so you think things like the MAC address but you'll see it's put both IP addresses on the actual network adapter and take a take a note of the MAC address here it ends in 730 alpha the reason why I'm pointing that out is because if we look at how that's presented to the network here I'm just jumping on my firewall and if I have a look at the ARP table on there you will be able to see that each of the physical IP addresses and the virtual IP address all has exactly the same MAC address as far as the network is concerned. That's pretty much how network load balancing is working. That's us done. Don't forget to come and visit us www.pnlive.com.